Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie Designs. Today is another DIY for resale video where I show you everything I made. Y'all, I have been so busy. Everything you're about to see I made in a day and a half. So let me just tell you what's going on in my life today because when you watch this video, it's going to be a few weeks out probably. But I have a pop-up shop in like an hour. <laughs> So I just hurried up and cranked out all this stuff in the past day and a half. I woke up early this morning, I got dressed and just finished pricing all this stuff and some stuff I just like, instead of putting my cute price tags, I just had to put a piece of tape with the price tag on it because I'm just totally out of time. I do not recommend doing that, it's just, you know, life's been crazy. And then if you're wondering what's going on with my lip. I dropped a 12 pound weight on my face at the gym. I also do not recommend doing that. <laughs> Luckily, it just cut my lip in half and didn't hit my eye or break my teeth or nothing. Oh my God, y'all, it's been a week. But I am here. I have cranked out some stuff and I'm super excited about it. And I'm super excited to show my customers and see what they think of all this amazing stuff. Like I had said on a previous video, I'm trying to concentrate on more wood stuff. I had gotten like distracted with smalls for a while and I really want to get back to woodwork. So that's what I did. All of this is like lots of candlesticks, lots of risers, lots of breadboards. That just was the theme that was happening. So I'm going to show y'all what I made and if I have a step-by-step -step tutorial of it, I'll put the link to that video in the description below. So I'm just going to start grabbing stuff. So I did a bunch of these candlesticks on a video. I'm not going to show y'all each one because they're all the same, but in just different sizes. These are just regular candlesticks that you can find at the thrift store or garage sales for really cheap. And they usually come in all kinds of different colors. So I just painted them all with white paint. You can use spray paint or chalk paint. And I decided not to distress these. I wanted to keep them a little bit more of a cleaner look. Not everybody likes everything distressed. Like me personally, I prefer a cleaner look. And then I got these, well, not that one. I got these little rounds at Hobby Lobby and just attached them to the top. So now they're so cute and two-tone. Y'all know I love a two-tone look. So if you are unable to cut little round tops for yourself because you don't have the tools or whatever, or personally for me, I'm going to start buying these because they were a huge time saver and they look great. It was a dollar for the two big ones. And for the smaller ones, they were 50 cents. And you see this one, I turned the other way. So you see the difference? You can turn them either way. So I thought these came out great. And then I also still cut my own sometimes. It also looks really cute. So it just depends on what you have and how much time you have. But that was the first time I bought those. And I really like them. And I'll be buying more. Okay, this, oh, and the prices, I mean, I probably paid a dollar or less for these candlesticks. Like this size is 15 and this size is 12. I think the biggest one I have is $18. Is that this one? Yeah. So $18 to $12 for these two-tone candlesticks. This one I priced at 18 and I really, it will not hurt my feelings if it doesn't sell because I'm keeping this one. If it doesn't sell at the little pop-up shop, um, it's just like this wood base I had and then I attached this super cute basket to it. I put some staples and a little bit of glue and this thing is not going anywhere. It's so cute. Let me explain what a pop-up shop is real quick because I feel like y'all are going to ask that. So a pop-up shop is when you get together with a business that is already established, has a brick and mortar, and you bring like a small selection of your items and just have a pop-up shop like basically like a pop-up little craft show um and it's a win-win because you're going to bring new customers to the business and the business is going to bring you customers and this is a great option if you don't have time for a booth or you're in a city where they don't even have that kind of stuff get together with a coffee shop i'm personally going to a clothing store like a boutique clothing store um, but get together with one of these businesses that are already established and see if y'all want to do a pop-up shop on a Saturday or a Sunday. And there's going to be, it's not just me, there's going to be other vendors there, but I think it also works if you're the only vendor there. So 
that is another good option. I know a lot of y'all been saying that there's no booth options or y'all just can't do it. Just do a little pop-up shop. You don't need to bring that much stuff. It's fun. Meet new customers. Like I said, win-win for both businesses. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. There's nothing breakable on this video. All wood. <laughs> and I'm not bringing anything breakable to the show. I had already decided I'm not traveling with breakable stuff. So I'm just bringing all these wood items and that's it. So y'all saw on my thrift lift video that I have been experimenting with milk paint. So this is milk paint in the color Sweetie Jane. And look how cool it came out. So I'm definitely learning the characteristics of this paint. So the white one chipped really great. And then the Sweetie Jane like didn't chip that much. But when I distressed it, I distressed it with a uh, sandpaper. Then I went with a baby wipe and wet distressed it. Then I walked away, y'all, when I came back, like, it had all these just chippiness. So, like, I guess the uh, the water kind of reactivated and made it start chipping. So cool. So, I'm learning. Like, don't be intimidated by milk paint. It's definitely a learning curve, just like with trying any new things. But you're going to learn it. And if you want this chippy look, I definitely recommend it. So, so cute. I tried to sprinkle in like a little bit of Sweetie Jane because I think I mixed up two teaspoons of it. So I just used it a few different places and then it kind of looks good when you have that sprinkled about. So these are, I bought, I don't even know how many, I probably should have counted, but a bunch of these huge Cypress posts that probably came off like this amazing old Cypress house. But they're huge. So, and they've been sitting around, they weren't on a haul video, so I, I could probably go back and look. I don't think it's been a year, but it's been a while I've been having these posts. And I'm like, I need to do something with them. They are hard to sell all in one piece, so I decided to cut them down and turn them into cute little risers. I tried to leave as much age as possible. And to price these, I did the per inch method, where I just measured each one. And then I multiplied the length of it times two dollars and three cents i know this is very random but i wanted it to be a, a little bit more than two dollars an inch and i feel like that's still a great price like this one for instance is only 37 dollars i feel like if you went to an antique store to try to buy one of these you'd probably pay double that so i, I priced them low but i want to move them i don't want to hold on to them i did kind of pay up for them so i definitely want to get my money back but I don't want to hold on to them. So those are gone. So these are just different variations. Like I said, I had lots of posts. I think I cut up three of them last night. I did all these last night. So they also didn't take me that long. Look, this one has Sweetie Jane. It has white. It has natural wood. Beautiful. I mean, you can put something on them, but I also think they just look amazing by themselves. Love this one. This one and this one's my favorite. I like the finishes on here. And this one's tall. So this one, I did $80 for the taller ones because I think if I did it by per inch, they were almost $100. And I just didn't, like, I just don't sell stuff for that expensive. Um, so I did $80 on the two smaller ones so you get a little bit of a discount per inch on that one so these two are from the same post right here you can see smaller ones and a super tall one i'm just gonna leave that one back there and then check out these amazing risers i had this board forever and i was gonna put it in my master bathroom as a shelf and so i finally like put it up and realized I didn't like it in there. So I cut up the board to turn in some low risers. I love how they have like all the rusty nail marks right there. And these are, this one's 12, one foot long and I priced it at $28. This is like 100 year old Cypress. And then I have this one that's two feet long. And look how pretty. And I decided not to go two tone. I decided to go with natural distressed wood for the feet and I really like that decision so cute I'll probably keep one if they don't all sell because I really like those and then if y'all saw my thrift flip video where I tried the milk paint for the first time I used the white and that's how these came out 
So it's kind of weird that they chip mostly just on one side. So if you're not too, too into the chippy look, you could turn it around. They're so pretty. White, chippy with a natural wood top. These tops I cut myself out of Cypress. And then I had four bed posts that I had to finish up. So I just went ahead and cut them all down and did different finishes on them. This one's my favorite. I love this. So I just take some black chalk paint and add water to it and do kind of a black wash. I have a lot of this in my house. I love, love, love this look. It's kind of like an aged look without distressing. You know what I mean? I love this. So pretty. So I have a few of those. And then these, I just did my regular process to it, sprayed it white with my sprayer, distressed it, and then added a top to these. So I have two like this. And these are priced $24. It just depends on the size. Like, um, I think this is my most expensive one for $25. I'm sure I could charge more for these, but this one's $15. Early wants stuff to move. 12. This is all stuff I've been having for a while. And it's time for it to go. <laughs> Y'all, these are so cute. So I had these little candlesticks. These were in my master bath as well. And I decided I didn't want them anymore. So I added this like little rusty um, baking tin to the top. These are so cute. I have these priced at $10 each. They are adorable. I should have uh, put them back in my master bath. They probably look good in there now. They were natural wood and I painted them white, distressed them, and this add, added this to the top. So cute. And I just used the Gorilla Glue Clear Grip to attach those and that should hold up fine. Do y'all remember when I went to that big garage sale and I got this wine thing? Well, I took off the cover like I said I would. And I wanted to put floral in it, but I just didn't have time. So I just priced it at $15 and somebody can put their own floral in it. And I just, all I did was added the Waverly Antiquing Wax water mixture to it just to kind of age it. Because it was kind of like that brighter orangey uh, basket color. So I wanted to look a little bit older and it got this cool leather right here. It'd be so cute hanging with some floral or you can use it as a little storage cubby. Ooh, in a bathroom with some towels. That would be cute too. I just thought it was adorable. Then I have this. It was dark brown and I just painted it white and distressed it. Anything that you find that's dark brown that has all this detail just looks so good. Painted with white chalk paint and distressed and this is $12 for this. Very, very pretty. I'm like surrounded by stuff all around me. Okay, let me grab the stuff behind me. These were bed posts that I also did in a recent thrift flip video. I know there's another one somewhere. Oh, here it is. So I have three of them. I took two bed posts and so this was the size of it. And then one of them I cut in half. That way I have a set of three of them. And I have the set price for $35 because I feel like they need to go to the same home. They're so cute. And these I was going to paint because... Let me show y'all. They had these huge holes in them, but you can barely see it now. I filled it with the IOD air dry clay, and then I put a coat of the a Waverly antiquing wax on it, and I just love the age on this. Absolutely love it. It looks so perfect with my style. And then the last thing I have is these little spinner boards which i think i showed y'all on the last diy for resale they all sold out immediately and i actually already sold one of these from some um to one of my customers that stopped by my house yesterday i believe and i had them sitting out because i was working on them and she's like are those for sale i said yes they sure are and she scooped one up right then and there so these are pretty and they've been very very popular but let me show y'all this one in the back um, that's super aged. So like when it has like really cool natural age, I try to preserve that. So this one's kind of like chunky and just different sizes. It's just 
this board has lived a long life and then you just add this chippy spin into it and it is absolutely amazing oh might have to keep this one too if it doesn't sell i love that one um so these are priced two dollars per inch so i measure from here to here not the spindle just from here to here so this one is 44 dollars. i feel like that is also a great price and then like this smaller one right here is thirty dollars so that's my cheapest one is thirty dollars so cute right do y'all love this i love it all right guys i felt like that was pretty quick but like i said i have to put all this stuff in my car and go to my pop-up show but i wanted to show y'all all the stuff I made before I sold it. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do thrift flip videos every single week. I do thrift haul videos. And then I also like to show y'all all the extra stuff that I make. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video.